What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ken Burtzell here from KB Cars. As you can see behind me, we've got another 2021 Corvette. It's been a while since we've had one in, so I'm really excited to see this one. It's not for one of my customers, so I can't do a ton with it, unfortunately, and it's raining outside, so unfortunately I can't take it outside. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at it inside. We're gonna go all around it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and turn on those bell notifications for future Corvettes that I do have six more in the pipeline that are 3000 or higher in, uh, in the status. So those are gonna be coming really soon. So make sure you stick around, check this out. Let's do a quick video around it and then we'll dive right in. Thanks again for joining us guys. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail on this. I've got other videos uh, you guys can check out. Um, I'll try to throw some links in there for you guys as we go along through this video. So you can uh, bookmark those. You can always just check out my channel. Got lots of Corvette videos for you there. Um, this one is a, again, it's a 2021 C8. Uh, it's in shadow gray metallic. I really actually kind of like the way the light kind of comes off of this. Hopefully it's catching really well in the video. Uh, shows a lot of those body lines and uh, this is probably one of my favorite colors for the Corvette um, I mean, it doesn't look bad in any color. So don't get me wrong I know a lot of you guys have called in and hey, does this color look good? What do you think of this color? They really all look good. You're not gonna go wrong. It's just personal preference um, And sometimes it does matter on what you're doing. You've seen in some of the last videos the nacellas if you go in black black roof um, you know these wheels, I'm not the biggest fan of the stock wheels, but they're not terrible. Uh, you know, if I've got some people that are gonna be going some aftermarket upgrades. There's just not a ton of options from the factory. You see this guy did not go for the Z51 package. He did do the performance exhaust though. Uh, so it's at least gonna sound a little bit better. I'll do a start up here for you guys in a little bit. It's convertible, obviously you can't see through. That's the biggest way you can tell is you can't see through to the engine. Um, really, it looks from about here, it might look very much the same um, as a coupe, but when you come back, that's the easiest way to tell is can you see the engine? All right, I'm gonna come back up front here. Um, love the front, I just love the front of this, but this is what I was talking about earlier. So this is new, it's, a, it's called the Carbon Flash Edge Red stinger stripe and you can kind of see the carbon flashes on this side of it and then you get the red stinger there and it looks really sweet i mean it just it accents this body line it goes right in here and here and in between so it, it looks sweet i love it and i think i don't know i mean try to picture it on another color maybe on black maybe on white i don't know but i really like it on this gray i think it looks really really sweet uh one thing he did add to is a hash stripe and i think that one doesn't come from the factory i think we got to put that one on it'll go over here somewhere um but this one came from the factory it's a 500 hundred dollar option um the yep it is i'm actually just looking at it right there edge red fender hash stripe with carbon flash metallic accent is dealer installed so that one we've got to add and I, we just got this dropped off um, and I haven't had a chance to get it PDI'd yet. That's gonna be coming. I do have a video on that process, but check it out. I mean, that's, a, that's cool. I've not had anybody do this yet and I'm actually gonna go back. I've got a couple orders that haven't gone in yet and I think I might recommend that. While we're over here, we'll take a peek at the window sticker. I know you probably saw a little bit of the 
invoice, that's okay, but you got the front lift. Get that glare out of there for you guys. The front lift, um, but I'm gonna performance exhaust, as I mentioned earlier, edge red painted brake calipers, the stripes, the torch red seat belt, uh, edge red fender, hash stripe, we're talking about that, and the battery protection package. And actually that battery protection package leads me into where we're at with this, because I've got this plugged in right now. You guys saw this one in the last video. Uh, it was the last video or the one before, I can't remember. <laughs> but we're plugged in and I love that because this is that battery protection package. It actually, you can close the front trunk and not have to worry about pinching any cables. It's designed to go just like this so that you can keep it plugged in and not have to worry about having a dead battery. This one, if you remember, had a little boo-boo in the back. Somebody had bumped into it and uh, they had to replace here, 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 and bend the the tailpipes back a little bit. All of that was broken underneath. Um, I'll put a link to that video right here, but I wanted to show you that it is now looking 100% again. And kind of because we still got some kind of cruddy weather here, we're gonna keep it in here for a little bit. But this is a 2020, don't get confused on that. This one is not for sale, but uh, finally back in and uh, good to see that one back at 100%. But let's come back over here. Let's go around. We'll take a look, look around a little bit again. Again, I'm not going to go over everything. I've got some other videos. We'll throw another link in there for you guys so you can check that out. And uh, we'll take a look inside too. All right, so he did the adrenaline red interior, which is probably my favorite interior. I really like it. You got, and again, those uh, red seat belts right there and got the wind follow buttons again they're talking about changing that we'll see what comes here officially from gm but i really love the way it goes up into the dash see if you guys can quite catch that there all the way through the center console um it's really a great look the only thing i might have done differently uh if it was mine as i would go with the two-tone seat that would make your actual center parts here so these parts here would stay red and then that would turn black. I, I probably would have done that myself, but um, this is still a good look. Don't get me wrong. All right, and for those who have not seen how the top goes down, do that right here. I'm gonna pause it just so you guys can see. So again, remember you can't see the engine on the on the convertibles. You'd have to take um, you'd have to take all these off to work on them. So it's a little bit of work, but we'll keep going here. These two panels. We'll then fold right down in. And if you want to see it go back up, we'll do that. So there you go, it's our latest Corvette that we got in. I love this new stripe package. Let me know what you guys think down below. Again, if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Turn on those bell notifications, because again, I've got six more that are 3000 status or higher, and I've got more going in the pipeline next month. We're waiting for our next quarterly allocation. I do want to be honest with you guys. Um, we potentially have more slots for 2021, but I really wouldn't count on it because I think they're going to cut some allocation um, and probably have a couple on our list already that are going to get pushed to 2022. So I don't want to put you on there in hopes that you'll get a 2021. Just going to be honest with you, it's probably not going to happen, at least not at our, our location. So I apologize. But again, make sure you stick around. I'm going to have more videos coming in the next couple months uh, for a lot of cool builds that I'm really excited to get those here for you guys so you can check them out. Um, and those will be for my customers, so you will be able to see a little bit more. I'm going to try to do more in-depth, maybe a couple road tests and stuff like that with those customers. So um, really excited. Guys, stick around. Thanks again for checking this one out today. Have a great day. Drive safe, and we'll catch you later. <music>